and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some spooky Aurelian Soul, spooky A Soul. Um, this is going to be a deck with Thresh and Aurelian Soul together, playing a Shadow Isles Targon control deck with our newest Celestial Dragon at the top end. This is a deck that we've had uh, by popular demand over, um, for those of y'all on YouTube, the YouTube comments have been asking about a Thresh Aurelian Soul deck um, quite a bit, so this is what I put together today to try that out. As far as Thresh goes, you want to be able to level up Thresh, of course, because we want Thresh to be able to attack, be leveled up, and put Aurelian Soul into play. So we're going to need to see 6 plus units die, so we're going to want to have some extra units to die. That's why we're going with like Hapless Aristocrat and Vile Feast, even though they're not cards that I love um, by themselves, but they're just going to be ways to help get more bodies in play for Thresh. Like Hapless Aristocrat, I usually would like Warden Spray more, and then Warden Spray can create Last Breath followers that I think will be more impactful than just a zero mana Spiderling um, like Aristocrat would play. Especially that we'd have like this thing to be able to discard said um, last breath follower and invoke if we want. But I decided to uh, go with the hapless aristocrat, um, you know, for, for the purposes of getting uh, free bodies in play. So we kind of have, um, you know, so we got aristocrat, we got sketcher, just got some early blockers because we want to, we're going to want to stay alive. So shield breaker is just a great blocker on turn two. Um, you know, then we're going with both priestesses here. Just going with two of each. Wasn't exactly sure what kind of numbers I want with those. Because uh, we just want to stay alive as long as possible, get to the late game, and let Aurelian Soul take over. Um, we have, I'm going with the three, the full three Bastions to protect Thresh and protect Aurelian Soul. Um, then we also have Behold the Infinite to invoke Glimpse Beyond. Uh, another way to kill allies to help Thresh out and also draw cards. Um, got some more invoke with Moon Dreamer, removal with Grasp, Sunburst, and Vengeance. We're gonna have to see how Sunburst really plays in this kind of deck. I could definitely see going two Vengeance, one Sunburst. You know, like I, I basically I wanted three of these cards, and I'm going with two of the cheaper one. But it's possible that Vengeance will be outplaying Sunburst. We'll just have to kind of keep our eye on that while we're playing. But that's something that you may want to. Um, Vengeance is a common. I just realized that. <clears throat> that uh that's gonna be something you want to keep your eye out on yeah shield bearer is just is just pretty insane stats for a two drop just incredible like three two is awesome and then whenever you're able to play it like on defense on turn two and this is a three six it's just ridiculous all right so that's our deck we're gonna go play five games over in ranked hopefully get another winning record we have been getting all winning records today uh, gotta like that that's a way to keep ranking up and we'll see if we can keep our streak alive and go four for four. All right, playing against some They Who Endure. Well, Vengeance is great against They Who Endure, but I guess the Silence It and Deal 6 damage would be great against They Who Endure as well. They don't really play spells that do damage to us. We can probably get rid of the Spell Shield card. The thing is, I don't really have something I want to discard to the Spacey Sketcher right now. Maybe I should have kept the Spell Shield as, like, something to discard. I'll discard another Sketcher. Paint is just accidental art. What's up, Louise? <laughs> Lucia says, I'm trying out some Trundlemere Allegiance with two Bastion and two Hush. Should try it sometime, it's fun. That is a good name for a deck, Trundlemere. Ooh, Just throwing Trundlemere and Trundle together. Yeah, that just just to be able to play a deck called Trundlemere does make me want to play Trundle and Trundlemere. Maybe a War Mother's Call deck. With Trundle and Trind Trindamere. Um for me, Lulu Shen is just right up my alley as far as decks I really enjoy playing. That's exactly the kind of deck that I really like. Shield Breaker. So I'd be inclined to say that. 
The Celestial Dragons deck we played yesterday was just pretty bonkers of like just the stuff we were able to do. Um, it just has a completely ridiculous top end. Not not the best against aggro, but against. <clears throat> against um expense other other slower decks it is pretty bonkers and then finally i guess the other another deck i've really enjoyed was the yesterday's day and night deck day and night um that was that was really interesting just the, the different sequencing of what to do of how to how to sequence your daybreak cards and your nightfall cards together. So my play is just to continue curving out, maybe play the traveler the next turn. And then thresh. That's kind of my plan right now. <laughs> yeah, Living Legends. That card is pretty silly with Aurelian Soul. Any cards that you would say are definitely going to get nerfed in the next balance patch? No, not right now. I wouldn't I wouldn't say there's anything that is definitely going to get nerfed. I don't think there's anything like that right now. Well, I guess I may just play Hapless Aristocrat right now with this board. I'm sorry, the Traveler. My apologies to you. I think this is a good Hapless Aristocrat play. Lady Elise, where are you? Yeah, so it's, it's too early to call. There's there's nothing that feels really silly. Like last time, even after a day, probably Grizzled Ranger felt really silly. I don't know if there's anything like that that just feels really silly after one day. I mean, Invoke in general... But that's, I mean, I don't know if they just, in, you know, I don't think they would change the invoke mechanic. I kind of wish you didn't get to choose with invoke. They just gave you random stuff. Because not only do, not only does nobody have, <laughs> nobody runs out of cards with invoke back and forth, but also just really slows down the game, that invoke animation. And then, um... The invoke animation, and um, and then you know you have to sit there and you have to think about all three cards. You have to think about like all the permutations of like choosing like this card to go along with all my hand and like what's going to be going on the next turns and this card and this card. It, it's just a lot of uh, permutations to compute um, with the choices, and so it really slows the game down. Maybe you choose two cards instead of three. Because I know, like, yeah, getting... Just making it completely random would also just lead to feels bads both ways of, like, you play Invoke and, like, you just get a useless card or you play Invoke and your, your opponent plays Convoke and they get, like, a super incredible card. It's going to lead to feels bad both ways. Maybe you take out a permutation by just having it two.
I want to make sure that Fury of the North doesn't kill Thresh. With Fury of the North being a plus three, plus four now, of course. The only thing that I could block in the scenario. I could have... We could have blocked the 2-1 the later on, but I don't really like blocking this Aberrant Sentry and letting them draw a card, so we'll just block the 1-1. One, one. Take the extra point of damage. Oh, I should have taken the sil Silence of Follower because of They Who Endure, shouldn't I? I was thinking, like, here I don't really need to silence any of these, but I guess with They Who Endure I should have. I should have taken that Silence of Follower. Hopefully that doesn't come back to bite me. Question, thoughts on level Diana? I feel like she needs some type of buff because needing to use two cards every turn just to make her not suck makes you run out of steam so fast. I don't know if that's necessarily true with leveled up Diana. I think leveled up Diana is just fine. I mean, the thing is, Diana's a two-mana champion. You can't expect it to, to be too amazing. I mean, we're talking about a two-mana champion here. Right? Like, it can't completely dominate. Tolzi, hey! Tolizu. Tolizu, are you here in chat? I hope you are. Um, because, Tolizu, you donated, Tolizu, you donated a deck a while ago for, like, when I wasn't streaming. For, um, uh, for something. And the deck code didn't work, and so I couldn't, I couldn't, use that one and I couldn't I couldn't get in, in touch with you I couldn't figure out how to get in touch with you I tried sending you a message here on Twitch um, so anyway see so I owe you a donation deck anyway hopefully you're here in chat but if you're watching this later on on YouTube or something let me know okay anyway uh they want to do. Death, no, no. Ooh, that was close. The heavens diminish without my intention. So Tali Zoo, of course I'll have this one. So this is a um Okay, well it's actually it's just two different Lulu Von Yip decks. Okay, well then Okay, well I could just do both of those decks then. You have a Vi Lulu Vi and Lulu Shen. Okay, well we can just do both of those decks. Oh, you and you donate twenty dollars to that, so. Uh let's see. Yep, there is that card. All right, Sunburst looking good. We're going to discard the Aristocrat here and invoke a card three or less, and I'm hoping to find the the one the Equinox, the one mana spell. There we go, Equinox, Silence a Follower, so that if they do have another um, They Who Endure, We'll have the Equinox for it. My, how they stare. Okay. Carved from the savage cold. 
Well, that could be a problem. That could be a problem. Well, they can't have... Okay, never mind. That's not that big of a problem. Never mind. Never mind. That's not a problem. Bask in her radiant blessing. They can't have Fury of the Norths. You know, they have three mana. We're doing just fine. Or they who endure all these silence of follower cards <laughs> running around Oh, that's 19 out of 20? Why didn't I look at that? I could have just played this serpent. No, and then leveled up early in soul. What am I doing? <laughs> oh, what am I doing? Could have just done that. daring them to play they who endure all right no they who endure Oh, not Moon Glow. Moon Glow's the worst card. So I don't really see any way that we are losing this game. Right? The Great Beyond.
Even though I'm I'm doing like the the worst job of actually closing this game out. Like I should have vile feasted one of these bark beasts before they turned into three threes. I should have just played two more um two more celestial cards before playing this to make it a 15-8. My how they stare. Oh man, that's gonna put in another Aurelian soul. Does that even do anything? Because I don't think it does. <laughs> so we just have an extra Aurelian soul in here. I can have my 2-1 challenge the 4-2 to have it die. Sorry, puppers. You're still over here. We gotta have multiple Aurelian Souls in play. look crazy. Crazy cool. This is going to be a long video. <laughs> yeah, I, I could have closed that game out a lot earlier than what I did. Probably I've played super slow, super careful. Slow as in, not like pace, but slow as in uh, number of turns to kill them. Um... <laughs> Remember in open beta when Elise was everywhere? All right. I think I have a donation deck to play an Elise deck, I think. No, I don't. Uh, no, I wouldn't say the new cards are too OP right now. I think it's kind of too early to call that. Um, but the new cards are looking pretty great. Um, Glimpse Beyond... Good against removal, their deck filled with removal, but also a little difficult to be able to use it against removal at times, depending on what they're doing. Uh, you know, like they can use said removal spell to respond to Glimpse Beyond as well. I don't get to draw my cards. I must get out of here. So we could attack for three and get three more damage in. Be nothing left when I'm done. But I'm gonna do this on defense. I think having playing defense is really what I'm more interested in with this deck than playing offense. Um, I guess we go written in stars. So they're obviously going to be going. Make it rain. We at least make them do that and not, um, not twisted fate. Not not let them twisted fate red card. That would be even more of a disaster.
get your work run if you don't. Definitely going wide. I'm not going to have time for all of these. Spilled paint is just accidental art. I really hope they don't have Twisted Fate. No, I probably should not play that Serpent. I had withering wheel. Oh, I should I should have passed. They they passed with the five mana. I should have just taken my turn. Yep, should have just taken my turn. Had them waste that mana. Now I got to use it. That was kind of just instincts of playing that card. Didn't think that through. Two for Thresh. All my units had to die. Deal me in. Earlier. The serpent so the plate Swain. I was gonna sunburst Swain. It did not. Played two make it rains, right? Already? I think so. At least the Thresh ate a ton of cards. And of course, we have Rekindler now that can bring Thresh back. That is good. I don't like either of those cards. Especially that Riptide Rex. That was good. Toss those things. Alright. Pick a card. Yuck. So leveled up Fate. Yuck. <laughs> I guess you can win them all. not spectacular. That move go? Well, they have three fleeting cards from the Twisted Fate. I hope that those fleeting cards are like two Leviathans and a Riptide Rex. So 
If they play three things like this, they'll have get red card, gold card, but gold card will take down the 4-4, not my 3-6. Blue as the serpentine. So what are, are those fleeting cards? Empire Swain? Alright, we can uh, silence the Swain. And then deal six to it. Oh, that's not going to kill it, is it? Because it's... Yeah, that doesn't kill it. Still got six damage on it. So we're getting there. Okay, they only burned one card. Only fools play the hand they're dealt. I do wish I could play Sunburst and Grasp the Undying both. This is tough. If I cast like Grasp the Undying on the Twisted Fate and they're, they're able to play three cards. <laughs> Red card would stun. Gold card stun the other. I have I have nothing left. Swain hits me for a bunch. I mean, I guess that's what seven damage. It's not a ton, and they would have to have three cards they could play right now. Not the most likely, but not out of the question. Not out of the question. This Swain hits me, and it's gonna hurt. I'm going to go Grasp over Sunburst with um, thinking. Soak it in. Okay, well, I like that. The, the, they didn't have didn't have red card to get rid of both those blockers also. On the run. Hmm. Thinking that maybe I need that three life right now, and, and I may not have, may not be playing those removal spells too much later. Alright, I really need one more life. Or one more mana, sorry, one more mana. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm really close to dying. I think that I, there's a good chance this just results in me taking six Nexus damage and it being dead. Got 
legs. Use them. Well, it's better than Noxion Forever would have been. Looks like they got me. Uh, it's pretty awkward turns there with the Swain and the Twisted Fate there whenever I went with like the Silence and doesn't for the turn, doesn't kill the Swain. All of that. I had to have had better things to do right around there than what I did. I feel like that's where I messed that game up. I'd have to go back and, and you know, really look at it. I probably should have played the Sketcher and just discarded my 9-drop. Look for, like, a you know, another cheap Celestial card to play, like maybe a 4-1 or something. I don't know. I'd have to go back and look at that. Okay. Diana, Leona, Aurelian Soul... Mulligan those two. Bless the faithful and fear the heretics. Spill paint is just accidental art. Punish transgressions. Trickster should be pretty interesting. All right, we'll play the shield bearer, get that three damage in. Not get that three damage in. It's a free attack. Force them to do the correct thing and block. You never know. Maybe they won't. It's a free attack. Yeah, I liked the Lulu Shen deck. That was... Um, that was a lot of fun to play. That's definitely my style with the Demacia, with the support and challengers. Um, I'm, I usually play those decks really well. And, um, like, I, I had a lot of success with Shen plus Zed and Shen plus Garen before the new set came out. And Lulu fit in perfectly with Shen. And so, yeah, I liked that deck a lot. One Star's Whoopsie is another spark. You trespass on sacred lands, unbeliever. You know not the meaning of sacred. So I just I don't want all these units to just You're trade and everything before we play Thrash. It's really tempting to take the messenger, take the, the little pupper, play the pupper right now. Uh, Meteor shower seems like it can be amazing with Thresh of uh, killing two units. Leona's at three out of four. Ouch. 
Hopefully that's just one stun. Not two. I'm hoping. Okay, good. Yeah, just the one stun. And we'll block with all three of ours. Obviously, we can't block the 4-5 elusive, but we can block the other three. And so we're halfway there as far as Thresh leveling up. Whoa, whoa. Three. I don't know. Maybe I should be challenging Leona and try to have Meteor Shower finish off Leona. That's probably the prudent play. Tempting just to discard the hapless aristocrat. All right, well we can discard an Aurelian soul. There's a really good chance that they like it'll. There's a really good chance that they are going to be killing my thrash with finding a. Finding a removal spell, the four, five, and six, the Solari Priestess basically always finds removal spells. That one come from three mana. I will be heard. I don't even know where that one came from. We know they still we still know they have a three four or a four five or six. <clears throat> One they can invoke. Bring night in. I'll tell a story. We will not suffer unbelief. They will not escape punishment. It's not a rope, it's a snake. Maybe this takes down Diana? Maybe? We know one of their cards is a Celestial 4, 5, or 6 mana spell. Which could be the deal four and deal one. Cool. Renin stars. 
I'm glad it's not to that. Ooh, well, we need to clear some room. Darn. Well, if they pass me, I mean, I can't play anything. Cosmic Rays that obliterates everything they have over there right now. They can play their own Aurelian Soul. Um, I do not know of a Trundle. I don't have a Trundle Aurelian deck. Myself, no. So it should be another, a second 4, 5, 6 card. Of course, I don't want to risk... I don't want to, like, attack with both of my... I don't want to attack with, like, my elusives and risk them killing my elusives. Then my Aurelian Soul doesn't level up. Definitely want Aurelian Soul to level up. That's still 20. Still the perfect number. No. Okay, well... How that goes. Now they'll pay attention. We'll just play our cards the hard way. Hello, Terra. Let's rock. All right. I'm down for rocking you, or do you want to roll instead? You know, rock. Are we gonna rock or are we gonna roll? What are we doing? Calm mind and open heart greet the night. Okay, so our Aurelian Soul level up their Aurelian Soul not so much. Should we just trade Aurelian Souls? I think the answer is yes. We got Rekindler. And they have nothing. GG's. We're two and one. We are victorious. <laughs> 50 minutes. Two games. Or three games, I mean. There are some slow control decks. Hope y'all like slow control decks here. Okay, what do we got? Bastion, Bastion. Grass File Feast. I could definitely see keeping a Bastion to protect like a Thresh. But until we actually have other threats, probably just need to mulligan everything. Or just other cards to play. Okay, they do behold an 8 plus cost card. I will take 
the warrior to challenge the faces of the old ones. Um, obliterate two enemies. Ramping hard now. I have nine mana already on turn four. Ugh. That's a lot of mana, and I got nothing to do. Nothing to play. Dang. Why would I take the warrior for a challenger when I have Thresh as a challenger already in hand? I should have taken the six mana obliterate card, not the warrior. Of me. Spent eight mana to kill Thresh. That's not so bad. Okay, so we still have another eight mana card in hand. Obliterate. I'm not sure about the star shaping card. I wonder if this card's overrated. I've I've been playing against a lot of people playing that card. And even though I'm, you know, I'm playing like a slow control deck, and that's just not a card that, I don't know, I'm that excited about. Uh, let's see. Clad in shining sunlight. They're gonna have some good turns here. Change is coming. That's a good turn. Okay, Falling Comet's good, but I probably need to Moon Silver my Aurelian Soul. Try to get this thing out one turn earlier. Basically, I was thinking about Vile Feasting this Destroyer. Alright, just a regular old 5-5. Five five. Does have Regenerate. This thing doesn't have Regenerate. But of course, this thing has Overwhelm. Oh, 
Nice to meet you. Still have a special card in hand, right? Yeah, we have that other thing there. Alright, so we're going to try to take down this Ice Pillar. They should probably be playing... I guess if they play another Ice Pillar, it's easy for me to attack the other Ice Pillar. They have a Rillian Soul to go along with Trundle. That is their two champions. The skies descend. Oh, do get a move on. How? <laughs> You the best, Comet. The trolls are going to war. Win all. Written in the stars. So if I attack with the Rillian Soul, what's the worst that can happen? They block with like the destroyer, and then they're able to go straight to combat and challenge it with Uzgar. To the stars. But I think I mean that's still me taking out the destroyer and an Uzgar with my Aurelian Soul. And of course I have another Aurelian Soul. I didn't grab that other warrior when I did. So we do need to survive. I don't really want to play Glimpse Beyond because I don't have any room. Softly. Let's rid of that spell shield. Don't have enough mana for another spell shield. Which I, I guess means I should just be throwing Vile Feast out here to empty my hand so I can draw the next card because I've at 10 cards. I don't think I'm going to do that. I'm going to keep... If I don't do that, now I have three mana for Bastion. After this. Okay. Sorry, 
either go to level up my Aurelian soul with a couple warriors, or I Vile Feast the Aurelian soul and then Supernova and get rid of it and Trundle. I guess I like that plan. The, cause the most. Eventually. Should be, if this works how I think it will, it should be the Vile Feast takes her rid of the, the spell shield, then the supernova happens. That's what I would think would happen. Cool. The two trundles down, one a really soul down. A bunch of other stuff like an Uzgar and all sorts of other things down. And I will just pass here while they don't use any of their mana. <clears throat> oh, I just don't have room for cards. Have this sacrificial spiderling. Well, I'm going to be trying to level up my Aurelian soul. If only Lunar Priestess, you were four power. But the problem is, is if I if I play another the warrior, and you know, like then we would level up Aurelian Soul, but then my opponent would be able to kill my Aurelian Soul. Wait, they're they're target on Freljord. I don't need to be worried about vengeance. How would they kill it? Oh, I guess with cards they've invoked. They they don't have any invoke cards right now. I didn't play that. They don't have any invoke cards. So I think we're safe. Think. They had an opportunity two, two rounds ago, not last round, but the round before, to get rid of my Aurelian Soul where I didn't have Bastion. Oh, right, they have Ice Pillar. Ugh. All right, well, we were both two Aurelian Souls down. I couldn't stop that anyway, uh, except for just passing and going to my turn. All right, well, that's the last Trundle. Let's see. How are you doing over here, Great Beyond? You're at five? I play Thresh. I try to level up Thresh. That's just not as good as playing the Great Beyond. I was not hoping that they would do that. Maybe I should have just attack and challenge first then and then file feasted instead of playing this 13 power. But this thing's 13 power. Um.
was really wondering if I'm supposed to go 13. Attack Ice, you know, with Ice Pillar with that 13. And now it looks like I should have, because these Ice Pillars are just going to make it so my uh, cards can't block. We need to draw Vengeance. Darn. I should have one Vengeance in the deck. You know, we just drew three cards. I needed one of those three to be Vengeance. Um... Wow, those are the only two cards they behold? Yeah, I really should have just challenged one of those and dealt the 13 damage to one of those ice pillars. So dealing 20 damage to me. Looks like 20 overwhelm. This is 12, 15. I don't know what this could possibly create for me. But I guess we gotta try it. Obliterate an enemy, the card that I should have taken before. So I, I did make did make mistakes in this game. I did make mistakes. And that's the sign of a good card game. Oh, sorry, I'll click on the dog. I'm sorry, Alfredo, I was a little busy there, but yeah, I'll, we'll go click on the dog here. My bad. Yeah, that was a good Nocturne emote. There's so many good emotes here, I need to use them more. Alright, Ezreal Twisted Fate, which can be pretty aggressive. I just don't like how I don't I don't really like the one health of like how easy it is to kill these one health things for them. But maybe I keep Sketcher and just discard keep a priestess, just discard a priestess, get a cheaper invoke card. We'll take the messenger. Oh yeah, that's a pretty sparkle fly. Alright, here's here's our pupper. Oh, it's so cute. And also pet. Pet the pupper. Can I paint you? So I think my one one I know that I'm only I'm saving one life, it's that's really not that good. But I think that there's a good chance that that one one's just going to get cleaned up by Twisted Fate or Make It Rain. Yep, see? Make It Rain. And so by blocking, that's one less thing they targeted with Make It Rain for Ezreal. Right? So I think that was a good block. And it looks like they were kind of lucky of getting Make It Rain with the Pool Shark. That was their fleeting card. Messenger is a good boy. Sounds dangerous. I'm in. All right, one Ezreal down.
pretty sketchy sketcher. This is three things die in, a four thrash. Which is good. Another long game. Oh, we should be two and two. I don't know why wow, that was kind of blocked there. All right, what are you doing? Gold card. Want to spell shield that? Nah, we'll let, we'll let that happen. Whoa. Um. Either Golden Sister or Living Legends are the two that I am considering. I think we'll go... I think we'll just go with the Living Legends. That's the super high upside card, is the Living Legends. I'm keeping my Spell Shield mana available to protect my Thresh. Out of six with Thrash. Meteor Shower could be number four and number five. Game. Go on then. Watch the ball, folks. Cosmos call. Yes, you. I'll keep them from getting the 1-1. One, one. Alright, we will sacrifice this. Keep them from getting those things for Ezreal. Alright, so they're getting a fleet. So that card's the fleeting card, this one right here. Case of Riptide Rex or other plunder stuff, want to keep them from getting plunder. I'm going to pass, because the onus is on them to use this fleeting card. And all this mana that they have, if they want to just pass the turn back to me, also I'm fine. So we'll pass to them and, and uh, you know, see what else they're doing. So it looks like does look like Riptide Rex is the plan. What do I want to do against Riptide Rex? Next turn is going to be turn 9. Can I give this to the Darn. That doesn't work. Hey, Godfrey. Okay, it was just Black Market Merchant. That's perfect for the Meteor Shower. Definitely glad they didn't just do all this while they had the second Black Market Merchant in play. That was six out of eight for Twisted Fate. 
So the rest of the deck, the rest of the, like all the cards they have are just all my cards now. Seven power. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It must be nice. All my cards are great. I know. Daylight warms the heart and lights the way. I guess I could be attacking. Expecting them to play stuff. Great one. Is one. Scorching light. I like that moon silver a lot because that the the good part about this moon silver is now I'm gonna have I can moon silver Aurelian soul and now I have three extra mana and now I still have Bastion for spell shield. Um, pretty important. Basically, because I need I need all of my allies to stay alive to level up Aurelian soul if that's gonna happen. I guess it's not. Incredibly likely that it happens. Um, but if it does happen, I need them all to stay alive. And taking another Living Legends is just probably. Probably just asking for too much. You know, it's probably just asking for trouble. Yep, there's the Cannon Barrage. Uh, close. Having them all. I think I should have gone greedy with with that great beyond. I do like how, or like the the other living legends. I do like how the great beyond is also a dragon for the skies descend. That's kind of cool. All in comments a good one. My magnum opus. Should certainly have a really in soul level up. All right, well, I guess that's game. Stealing my cards is not cool. It's possible they would have had enough. Burst to kill me anyway. Yeah. 
you know, burst and fast cards if I would have just if I would have just played like hapless aristocrat first. Possibly would have had enough burst and fast. Deep? <laughs> Why does that matter? They said GG, and they didn't kill me yet. I'm definitely not saying that I can stabilize from here, but I'm just saying it's a little odd that they are like GG and I'm not dead right now. I don't think there's any anything I can find with Living Legends. I don't think there's any Celestials that save me. So these cards are too slow. Okay, so we're going to use. Use our spell mana. Up some. Oh, that still dealt two damage to me? Even with the spell shield? Things just slow. The cosmos will collapse eventually. Yeah, I guess it is just if they have a spell, I lose. There's nothing I can do about that. So since it's already, if they have a spell, I lose. My magnum opus. Might as well play that. Looks like if, if I didn't play that nine drop, looks like I would have been able to kill. Like I should have just gone hapless aristocrat. I would have been able to kill the. Okay, that's why the deep thing happened was because of my um, quest. So I should have just played the hapless aristocrat because then I I would have been able to cast um, both the sunburst and that obliterating enemy. I would have been able to take it down to the Ezreal. That would have been their second Ezreal gone. Um, so, yep, shouldn't have played the 9-drop. There, opened myself up to Ezreal plus millions of spells, which, you know, with that with that kind of deck, that's probably the only way that I'm losing that game. So, definitely some good lessons learned. Out of, out of all those losses, um, all of them were ones that maybe I could have won with different plays, but, you know, we're just really just still testing out these new cards and really seeing the interactions and seeing the patterns and all, the, all that kind of stuff and... and uh, um, you know, this was a really good learning, you know, video of learning different stuff um, and just getting used to these cards and everything, I feel like. Hope hope you all felt the same way. Um, but yeah, if you're looking for a Thresh Aurelian Soul deck, give this one a try. Um, Sunburst was kind of meh. I, 
I think I'd probably want a second Vengeance instead of the Sunburst. I think that fast speed is too important. Um, you know, as we talked about at the beginning of the video, I wasn't sure exactly what to do with those three slots. And I went to Sunburst, one Vengeance. I think I'd want to switch that up. They're both great against They Who Endure, but I think just getting some more fast speed so not everything is so slow. Uh, and everything else worked pretty good. Sketcher, Sketcher was not amazing. Admittedly. Um, but, I don't know, it was fine. I mean, it's a one-mana card. I mean, what can you expect from a one-mana card? It was, it was fine, though. It was pretty good. All right, that's Spooky Aurelian Soul. All right, those of y'all uh, watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. Uh, leave those comments. Let me know what else you want to see. Hope, uh, let me know if y'all were learning a lot in this video as well. Hopefully you were. Um, anything else like that. But I appreciate y'all for watching. Thank you so much, for, uh, and I will see you for the next video. Take care.